everyone, welcome back to Marley Makeup. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do um, my go-to everyday natural um, makeup look. And I'm going to show you how I take that makeup look into an evening look, which is pretty similar to what I've got on um, right now. But I'll also give you a few ideas to make it a bit darker um, if you wanted to. This video that I'm filming, um, I was busy filming my favorite products video um, and my product empties. And then I realized I'm talking about like my everyday products that I use every day. And I have to do a makeup look tutorial for you guys so that you can see what I do with my everyday makeup. Um, so here goes. So after my daily skincare routine and my moisturizer, I always start doing my concealer first. At the moment, I'm using the Inglot Concealer in 97. It's called the Under Eye Concealer. And what I usually do with my concealer is I like to apply lots of it under the eyes. Just like that, and then I like to leave it there a bit because I find with most concealers, um, they're a little bit more blendable once they've stood on your face for a little bit. And then next up we're gonna do our foundation. The one that I've been using is the Max Factor Skin Luminizer Foundation. This is color Sand. I have been loving this foundation. So sometimes, some days when I don't wanna to have too much cover, I'll literally just squeeze out a blob of this foundation on my hand and I'll actually mix it in with my moisturizer to make a tinted moisturizer. But today I'm gonna to do a little bit more cover, so I'm gonna use it as is. And I'm using this little sponge, which is from Real Techniques. When I got this sponge at first, I really didn't like it. Um, and then I found, it, I don't know, it was just too hard. It, like, it didn't actually place the product on my face. And then now I've made it a bit damp and it really, really, really works well. It blends it beautifully. I really enjoy it. And now just blending. Down onto the neck. This sponge really works well to blend if you just push it onto your face like this. So I've put the product where I want it to be, and then I just push with a sponge where I need to blend. So once the foundation is nicely blended, my concealer is now ready, and I can really just blend it in a little bit under the eyes in this inner corner, just using my fingers. And then I come in and I conceal wherever else I need it. So I'm just gonna do two little spots on my, con uh, on my um, pigmentation. I'm gonna do a little bit just on my chin and I wanna do the tiniest little bit on the sides of the nose. And then again, I'm just blending it in by pushing my finger onto the face like this. You can see it blends it beautifully. I find when I wipe, it actually takes off more Whereas when I blot my finger like this, it really helps to build the cover a little bit. I've really enjoyed this concealer from Inglot. Um, it's quite moisturizing. It doesn't um, settle. It, uh, you know, it sets beautifully. It gives me enough cover. It doesn't make the lines under my eyes look heavier. I do like it. To finish off my foundation, I'm using my Bourjois Silk Edition. It's a compact powder and this is color uh, Golden Beige. And I just, I literally just use the little sponge that it comes in with. And I like to just do this just where I need it, a soft sweep of this powder over the face. Press it a bit under the eyes. This powder is really beautiful. It's got a very thin um, consistency, so it's not too heavy. It doesn't, it doesn't go on too matte or too thick. It's beautiful. Next, I want to do a bit of contouring. I'm using the little sponge that is from the product that I used to use every single day, which you'll see in my Everyday Favorites and Product Empties video, which is linked here. Um, so I'm going to use that sponge that I used from that one. And then this is a Catrice bronzer, matte bronzer in medium bronze. And I'm just taking that sponge, getting the product on there. And what I like about this is I can actually draw a line where I want my, or my contour to go. So I'm just gonna do it like that. And on this side, and then I wanna do a bit on the jawline. And whatever's left on the sponge, I'm just gonna to add to the edge of my forehead here. Then just shake off the excess from the sponge. And now I'm gonna use the sponge to blend. I'll come in and blend a little bit more just now. First, I'm going to do with my blush. My blush is MAC Spring Sheen. And I'm just using this little brush that came with one of my Benefit, um, my, one of my Benefit uh, blushes. Really nice little blush. And I love this blush from MAC because it really just gives me a nice sheen on my cheeks as well, as you can see. And then I'm just coming in with a bigger powder brush and I want to make sure everything is beautifully blended on my cheeks. I see so many pictures um, on Instagram where these girls have these hard lines on their faces and it's some example of contouring. Even like popular makeup brands are sharing these videos where these girls have these hard lines on their faces 
And uh, that's not what your contour is meant to look like. Contouring is really meant to be something that looks natural, looks like the natural shadows of your face, um, and it gives you some shape. But it's really not meant to be a hard line on your face. So then I just like to bring this brush in and just make sure we get it all beautifully blended. Before I do my eyebrows, I just want to apply my eye primer. This one is from Sensai and it's called the Eyelid Base. This is the best primer that I have tried so far. Um, I haven't tried all of them, but this is honestly a beautiful, beautiful primer. What I love about it is that it's hydrating. Um, it's really, really, really thin. You can see it's like a, it's almost like an eye cream. It does um, just even out the skin tone a touch, as you can see. So I'm just putting that on with my finger, gently blotting it onto the eyelid. Also with this eye primer, you use the smallest amount. So I really, really love this and it lasts forever. Okay, so we're going to carry on with the eyebrows while I'll just leave this to set a little bit. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. Um, I've discovered this product recently because um, I see everybody sharing it on Instagram as well. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful brow product. And I'm just using a little brush that I got in like a travel set um, from MAC. And then I always like to start on this inner corner. When you do your eyebrows, rather concentrate the darkness or the most intensity of the brow to this outer line and leave this inner um, corner of your eyebrows a little bit lighter. It really just does help that it looks a bit more natural and it doesn't make your face look heavy. Okay, then I just want to come and start at the top, filling my brows out a bit. That will be the highest point of my eyebrow and then just start blending it down. If this does happen to you that you grabbed a little bit too much product, as you can see on this outer edge, don't stress, I'll show you what to do about that now. Now that my eyebrows are drawn in, they're quite drawn in, I like to take just a clean um, mascara wand or these, uh, I think it's called a mascara spoolie, and I just like to come and brush through and just to soften that. So I've still got the shape, but it's not that hard. And then for my brow gel, this is my Catrice Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel really really love this i love the color of this one it's a slightly lighter color um but it just helps to keep my brows in shape makes them look a little fuller and this product doesn't flake throughout the day which is great okay so time for our eye makeup for my eye makeup i have discovered these palettes which is really great they're from catrice this one is called mud spencer and coral hill but they're just beautiful beautiful colors so what i'm going to do is i'm using my sigma blending brush this is their little traveling brush which is really great for my makeup bag. Um, and I'm just gonna grab this gold color first. Oh, sorry. Grabbing this gold color first, and I'm applying that to the ball of the eye. So right from my lash line, just up to the crease. Then I'm gonna grab this um, medium brown color. It's got a nice warm tone to it. And this I'm gonna apply just to these outer corners here and the inner corner. And then just brush off the brush and then I like to blend that in. And I just make the meat here in the middle. Same brush, same dark colour. I go underneath on the bottom lash line. So sometimes I leave my eyeshadow just like this depending on how I feel. If I do want to make it a little bit more defined then I grab this darker colour and just a tiny bit of this on these outer corners. And again, a little bit of that just on this bottom corner and then softly blend it in. Then just quickly curl my eyelashes. And for mascara, I've been using this Rimmel Scandal Eyes uh, Rockin' Curves. And you can see the brush is like, curved like this. The first time I received this brush, I thought, what a gimmick. But actually, it's a really, really great brush. You can see how it fits in the curve of the bottom there and it helps to curl my lashes. And then the tip that curves in helps that you get into this inner corner without making a mess. I'm just going to do one coat on the bottom as well. Once this has set and dry a little bit, I'll just go over with a second coat again. So make sure you put on enough mascara. Then for my lips, I like to just use a gloss that's a bit tinted. This one's from Bobbi Brown and it's called Haze, oh, called Sailor One. You can see it's got just a nice reddish tint to it. It's not too hectic. It's also not too sticky. And that's basically my everyday makeup look done. Um, let me quickly show you guys how to take this look into an evening look um, really, really quickly. 
For me, I have been loving a lighter eye lately, so I'm not going to go dark with my eye makeup, even if I am going to go into an evening makeup look. So I'm going to use a dark brown um, pencil. This one's from Bodyography. It's called Black Walnut. But um, Max Coffee Pencil is also really great. And I'm just going to take this pencil and do a line on the top lash line. And I like having this line a little bit thicker. Same pencil, I'm just going to go like into the waterline and just where the lashes grow out. And also not all the way, up to about halfway. I just want to take this line and just darken it a bit more in these outer corners on the top. Then just with my finger, I just want to blend this inner corner a little bit. Okay, then we're going to go back to this palette we used earlier, same brush we used, and I'm going to grab this darker colour. And I'm just going to intensify this outer corner and a bit on the bottom. Also again, just the outer corner, you can softly blend it in, but don't go all the way to the inner corner. Then I'm just cleaning off the brush on my towel, and I'm just blending this in a little bit into the crease, only up to halfway. So what I want to do to also help make it a bit more evening, I suppose, I'm going to add a brighter lip, or like a darker lip, and this is the lip base pencil from Sigma, and this is color Euphoria. Really love these fat pencils. So I've still got the gloss on my lips, which it'll help to apply this. And I'm using it as a lipstick. The thing that's great about this is that it's a pencil, so it's got a sharp end, so I can actually draw in the line beautifully. If you wanted to make your eyes a little bit darker, you could use a black eye pencil instead of the, uh, the brown eye pencil that I used. And the ones that I could recommend that I like and that stay on, and there's this one from Black Opal, which is the automatic eye lining pencil in color licorice. I do like this, it's got a twisty tip so you never have to sharpen it, um, which is really nice. And then the other one that I've got, I've got this little one um, from Lancome, but this their eye pencil, it's called Le Crayon Col in Noir, is also a beautiful, beautiful eye pencil that lasts. Or you could obviously opt for a liquid liner. I have tried this from MAC, the super slick liquid liner. So you could do the basic eye makeup look I did, add a liquid liner, still do the eyeshadow, so it's up to you. You've got a few uh, varieties and they're all very easy. They're very easy ways to pump the natural makeup look up and get you ready for an evening makeup look. Um, but that's basically it. That's the makeup look done. Um, as I said, this could totally be the look that I've got on now, you could also wear for daytime, but I have been embracing a bit of a natural makeup look lately, and this is what I would do for my evening makeup. And be sure to go check out the video that I did that's got my favorite products and my product empties in it. It'll be the product empties that I used to use every single day, which I now replaced with everything that you saw in this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.